Hi there, it's Jason Gorman from Codemanship. Today's rookie mistake video is about another practice that many teams believe they're doing that they're usually really not. Continuous integration. Continuous integration, or CI for short, happens when developers on a team are merging their code changes to a shared branch of a repository, the main branch or trunk, at least once a day and ideally many times a day. This enables them to test that their changes work with everyone else's changes, flagging up any conflicts early when they're much easier to resolve or roll back. Most developers who claim to do continuous integration are actually working on their own long-lived branches. So they might well be checking in frequently to their own branch, but then only merging to the shared main or trunk branch when they have, for example, completed a feature. What causes the confusion, I suspect, is the conflation of continuous integration with automated builds. It's common for developers working on their own branches to have what they refer to as a CI build set up to run when they check in to that branch. This gives the surface illusion of continuous integration. But unless the rest of the team are checking into your branch, it's not continuous integration. This is usually the point in the conversation where developers exclaim, but how will we police code quality if everyone's checking in to the main branch directly without submitting pull requests, for example? Your first line of defense is fast automated regression tests. To have faith in those check-ins, we need to have confidence in our test suite. That takes a lot of effort, but I regularly work with teams whose tests are good enough that seeing them pass before they check in means they can have that confidence. That's the true foundation of continuous integration. It's not about automated builds. When it comes to code quality, code reviews, if you think about it, are just another kind of testing. Pull request code reviews are manual after the fact testing and suffer from all the drawbacks of manual after the fact testing. They take a lot of time to do thoroughly and that's why most teams that rely on them don't do them thoroughly. And any issues that get raised often don't get addressed because the developer who submitted the pull request has already moved on. Basically, pull request code reviews tend to be too little, too late. And in return for that, your team gets a bottleneck. Instead of saving up all our changes to be reviewed in a pull request, it's much more effective to have them reviewed continuously as we're writing the code, as we're making those changes. Pair programming, for example, one of the functions of the navigator in a pair is code review. When problems emerge, raise them and deal with them straight away. Teaming or mob programming scales us up so the whole team is inspecting the code as it's being written. And this is also a good way of building consensus on what good and bad code look like. Linting or static analysis can cover large amounts of code very quickly and systematically, searching for dozens of low-level code quality problems at lightning speed. I've yet to see after-the-fact code reviews come even close to achieving the same level of code quality in the finished product as a combination of pairing, teaming, and linting can. And finally, you may well balk at the idea of checking in incomplete features. What if the users try to drive across our half-finished bridge? That's actually quite an easy one to resolve. We don't connect the road to the bridge until it's finished. Feature flags are one simple mechanism for determining at runtime what features will appear or be enabled in the user interface or API. Going a little less high-tech, just conditional compilation if your language supports it, or even just commenting out the code that displays the button or the link can hide unfinished features until they're ready for use. This enables us to frequently merge and test our changes together, getting all the benefits of continuous integration without exposing works in progress to end users. So continuous integration, it doesn't just mean automated builds or Jenkins or GitHub Actions. Those are just tools. Continuous integration is a practice and a darn valuable one at that when it's done well. But you do have to actually do it.